At right now, millions on the move, with today being the busiest day for Christmas air travel. Many of you trying to head home for the holidays. But a monster winter storm is already impacting travel as it brings heavy snow, ice flooding, and powerful winds to much of the country. We have team coverage at noon on the storm and the trouble it's causing for travelers. So let's start with Local 10 News reporter Annalise Garcia. She is live at Miami International Airport. And how are things looking out there, Annalise? Christy Janice, busy, busy, busy as expected. Nationwide travel experts do tell us they're expecting to see at least 102 million travelers by air and ground. Now, MIA and Fort Lauderdale International Airport already telling us they're feeling the effects of that storm. I'm going to Los Angeles for Christmas. Travelers headed home for the holidays. 2.5 million passengers are expected to make their way through MIA. 1.6 million over at Fort Lauderdale International Airport. We're going back to visit family. Winter storm Elliot is forecasted to make its way through parts of the country. Some airlines already reporting cancellations. Just like text my app, cancel it, that's it. The storm also impacting driving conditions from coast to coast. Drivers barely able to see just feet in front of them. In Wellington, Colorado, this truck sliding off the road. And this is just the beginning. Oh, it's going to be rough. Parts of the country could see the coldest temperatures in 40 years, nearly a 50 degree below zero wind chills in Wyoming. Use the app or the website that you booked your travel in. Here in South Florida, our airports are feeling the effects. MIA tells us as of Thursday, they have four canceled arrivals and four canceled departures due to Elliott. The cities primarily affected are Chicago, Seattle and Toronto. Elliott will also bring strong winds and a possible flash freeze to parts of the Midwest, East and South. And Fort Lauderdale International Airport tells us they are expecting about 90 delays of uh, departures and arrivals. Now, if you are traveling in the next few days, definitely give yourself more time. Domestic flights usually require or they uh, suggest two hours before departure to arrive to the airport. International three hours. But in these next few days, you may want to give yourself even more. I'm live in Miami, Annalise Garcia, Local 10 News.